Hey everybody, it's me Mark from the Content Creation Studio Academy and in this video I just want to show you the differences between the Atom Mini uh, from Blackmagic, the normal version, the cheapest version, with about $249 and Ecamm with a Cam Link. So the Cam Link is about $100, $130, something like that and Ecamm is just a, is a software you can run on your Mac. Okay, so I've connected my Canon EOS um, R RF a uh, full frame digital camera with the with my computer and I used to use used to connect it with eCam and by using by using an Elgato Cam Link 4K. But now today I got the new um, Atom Mini. Well actually it's not a new Atom Mini, it's just like an Atom Mini and I got a new. And I'm testing it now and seeing what the main difference is, is. So if you don't know me, my name is Mark and I do like um, all the content creation stuff for course creators and I'll show you how to set up your studio. And in this video, we're going to be going through the differences, the main differences between the Atom Mini and the and the Cam Link. Okay, so the first difference is the um, frames, the, the delay of the video. So when I'm using my Cam Link, I'm actually I'm actually delaying it by two frames. So I'm actually delaying the audio by two frames, and then it'll be in sync. So if you're using Zoom or something like that, and you don't have software to delay the audio, then the Cam Link will actually give you a better better. Um, better video sync because um, it's only delayed by two frames and it won't be noticeable all that much. But if you're using the Atom Mini and using that as a video source in Zoom, then you'll have to delay the audio by five frames and Zoom does not have an audio delay at the moment, which is which is pretty bad. Okay, so I just hope that Zoom um, adds the audio delay in the future or something like a mic, mic delay so you can actually sync everything up for everybody that's using a separate microphone than that, that one that's installed in your camera. So another thing that I found out is that the green screen quality on the Atom Mini is a lot, lot better than on Ecamm. So one of the main reasons I bought an Atom Mini was because I wasn't really satisfied with the green screen on Ecamm, even though Ecamm's green screen is a lot better than all the other apps I've tried out for live streaming. But uh, still, the um, Atom Mini actually has a lot better green screen because it actually has a little bit of DaVinci Resolve built in, which is um, the software from Atom Mini to like do editing and keying and all that stuff, right? And uh, so I just wanted to try it out and see what the results are. So as you can see here in this picture, the results are that this is a much cleaner key than in uh, Ecamm. So I'm actually using the Blackmagic now. And let me just share my screen so you can see what I'm actually doing. So I have my Blackmagic Atom Mini over here, and I'm only using these two inputs. So that, that input over there is my standing cam, and that's my sitting cam. So when I'm sitting down, I'm actually using only this cam over there, but I can switch to the standing cam via the software. So I can actually just switch by um, going over here to the software and then clicking on the second camera on the top. So that's how I can switch, right? But I'm not going to be doing that now because um, I'm going to leave this camera. And over here I have my Stream Deck, so I can actually switch between the Black Magic um, Atom Mini and also the, the side ca uh, camera I'm using right now. So the camera I'm using right now is this button over here, and the Black Magic Atom Mini is this button over here. So let's just switch back to my main camera now. And now I'll just show you how I can switch to the standing cam by using the software called uh, Atom Software Control. So let's just uh, switch to the top camera now. So I'm just standing up, and as you can see here, I'm just standing and recording with a second camera, the Canon SL3. And if I want to switch to the full frame camera, the Canon RF, uh, RP, then all I have to do is like switch to it by using the software. So let's just switch to it now and all I have to do is sit down. So as you notice, I don't have I don't have my chair like when I'm standing up and when I'm sitting down, I do have my chair over here. Okay, so that, the main difference, like I said, let's just sum it all up. The um, audio delay, yeah, so you have to delay the audio much more when you're using the Blackmagic Atom Mini by five frames. So I tested that, it's five frames, right? So it's about the same delay I would have if I were to connect the camera via USB. And that's really slow, okay? So either I'm recording in Ecamm, I'm recording all my videos in Ecamm or in OBS uh, with a software that I, because those softwares you can actually delay the audio, right? So that's the only software you can actually use to record unless you want to sync everything in post, which means you're syncing everything while editing, which is a lot of work each and every time. So I'd, I'd rather record everything in Ecamm and then have the perfect sync, right? So I could do that. The only problem is if you're using um, Zoom and you want to have your guests over, right? And then your guests are have a different sync than you do because you're using like this, this um, the, the Blackmagic Atom Mini and it's delaying the, the video that much because the connection is so slow. Okay, so... Um, one another thing to keep in mind is that I actually connected everything with the fastest cables I can get, so it's not really the cables, it's actually the unit that's slowing everything down. 
But still, um, it's totally worth it because the green screen quality I'm getting now is really, really good. And there's no way that Ecamm or any other app, like live streaming app, could ever, um, like, um, at the moment, at the moment, could could um, could be as good and screen the green screen as the Black Magic at the mini at the moment. And I don't want to like do this uh, later on in post production, so I don't want to take my green screen footage and then try and like key everything out every time in post production because that takes a lot of time. I just want to get the best quality possible every time I'm recording. So that's one reason why I bought the Atom Mini. Okay, so that's the green screen and the audio delay. So those are the only things, the only things you gotta keep in mind. You gotta delay the audio more on the Black Magic Atom Mini. And if you're using a cam link with eCam, then you only have to delay it with two frames about. So it's, you don't have to delay it that much. And it's not noticeable, not much of a notice if you're using the cam link on Zoom or any other app. Okay, so that's a big difference. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, then please comment down below. Hope to see you soon. Take care and bye-bye.